Hello all and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Happy 2021. I appreciate all the loves in the comments um, that was brought from last year. Now I've been away. A little spiritual maintenance I was doing on myself. But I'm back and I'm trying to... Um, I have a plan to maybe be more consistent when it comes to videos. You know, doing these tea leaf readings takes a lot of energy, uh, but um, I will make it happen. You know, doing the, I'll, it'll be a mixed bag of the cards and the tea leaves. And yeah, I'm still working on that, but I just wanted to come in and um, say happy new year. And I hope that everybody has a blessed new year. Um, this year will be full of success, full of abundance, full of love, full of self-appreciation. Yes, that's the important one. Self-appreciation. We will celebrate every single victory that we accomplish, even the smallest things. You know, if we don't step on a crack and break our mama's back while we're walking on a sidewalk, that's a victory to celebrate. So I just wanted to... Um, Get, see what the energy is like just uh fill out some things and just uh jump into a cup real quick all right i do we've been wrapping up a cycle for a while and maybe 2021 2020 didn't come finish finish out the cycle that we was probably supposed to finish up you know with uh with the hurdles and the hiccups and the things that uh that probably came along the trials and tribulations that we didn't see coming kind of put that on hold but i feel like this year there's going to be an effort to really kind of shut the door on what is no longer needed what is no longer serving us in our lives right with that line right there is is saying that it is coming to a close there's not there's not much longer left when it comes to this cycle. You know, I would say be careful about letting like closing the cycle up and then letting a few months pass. And then maybe something, you know, negative from that cycle comes back in to try and test you or challenge you. But you have to kind of put up that wall and say, no, not today. You know, um, because we are not the woods when it comes to challenges. We aren't. And this is kind of like everybody throws so much onto January to be like this perfect person. And it and it's, it's not going to be like that. You know, it's like one step at a time. Change one little thing, one little habit so that you can move forward and you don't fall, you know, flat on your face when it comes by the end of the month, you know. So don't don't beat yourself up if you eat a cookie and you're, you know, on a diet or you're trying to fast or something. Don't beat yourself up. Just eat the cookie, enjoy the cookie and then start all over again. You know, no big thing. No big thing. You know, so we got to start treating um, ourselves like we would treat our children. You know, you make a mistake. That's OK. We learn from it. We get up, we go put a bandage on it. And it's and it's healed within a few days. So we gotta start treating ourselves like that and um treat this year like that. I think think we put so much on 2020 to be something great, you know, but we got the clarity that we needed throughout the year. Everybody got it. Everybody got it. So this symbol right here, this caught my eye heavily. Okay, so when it looks like um a hawk or a sparrow perched up on a on a tree on a on a, some sort of branch okay so hawks are like um hunters predators people who are so, so you may be watching something or waiting to hear something keeping your eye on the prize um there may be work a job that you see come open and you apply and then you're waiting to hear back from it um, you may be waiting to hear news of something that you've been wanting to do for a long time and maybe you got approved. Maybe there was, um, sorry about that. Maybe there was, uh, I'm getting something about fertility too. So maybe, maybe somebody is coming in with the news of, of, of pregnancy, you know, 
that may be a thing too. And also with, it's like a couple symbols in one. So this looks like a person and then looks like, you know, the bird. And then this looks like something else and they got their arms out. So it's almost like they're weighing their options. You know, like they know what they want to do, but they see this other thing and they'd be like, oh, well, maybe I'm a bigger fit for that thing instead of this thing because it, I've never done it before. But, you know, but this bigger thing may be something that spirit wants you to do and move you towards, you know. So once you when you're weighing your options, make sure you go towards the things that you want to do that fulfill you and that fulfill your life and that fulfill your soul and your purpose. You know, making yourself happy with your goals. Okay, so this, like when I looked at this right here just now, the first thing that came in my mind was elephant. An elephant or something that overcomes things. They're huge, but they're gentle and they're, they do overcome things in an elephant. So if you get hurt, you know, say you know, something happens. Anything, a broke leg, a broke arm, twisted ankle, um, a hurt foot, maybe you hurt your back, maybe like a sprain or something. I don't know, something, I'm getting something like that. So know that you will overcome it and it won't, it won't hinder you. It'll make you stronger. So just be aware of that. Just keep like an elephant in your mind of how their strength and their courage um, moves them forward no matter what. They are majestical animals as, and you know, you are a majestical animal creature being, and you should be treated as such and you should treat yourself as such. Okay. So this here, what I'm looking at, it kind of looks like a W A. <laughs> if this, and that's like a P W A P. <laughs> uh, some WAP. Somebody's getting some WAP. <laughs> Just kidding. But maybe, um, maybe somebody, you know, somebody with um, those initials, you know, an animal. Um, maybe you live on the street with a W. You live in a city with a W. You live in an A. Something like that. Maybe. The WA is connected to the elephant. Maybe it's it may not be you yourself personally, but it may be somebody you know with those initials who may get injured and who or something who may get in a car accident that keeps coming in my mind too. So <clears throat> excuse me. So maybe you will be helping them to overcome their struggles. All in all, I mean, I really think that that there's gonna be still more growth for us but in a in a in a good way i don't and you know i'm not gonna say that all bad things aren't gonna happen you know because that's that's it, it does happen bad things happen things that we don't like but it takes strength and tenacity and endurance to overcome them and each and every one of us has that within us. And we have to know that. We have to allow our ancestors to guide us. Okay. So I'm going to get off this soapbox. I hope that everybody has a happy new year. A blessed year. Throughout the year. And into all the rest of your life. The blessings flow abundantly. With love, happiness, peace prosperity and I will see you next time love you